In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase your sale on all your digital products using Final Cut Pro, because we are going to create some short Instagram story form videos that are promoting products that you have on your website, but in a cool way to make it actually feel like they are physical products. When you open up Final Cut Pro, the first thing that you want to do is, of course, to create a library. And within that library, we are going to create a new project. So we're going to hit Command N, and then we're going to name this Instagram Product Promotion. And then we're going to go and choose Video. And instead of having it at 4K or 1080p, we're going to make sure that we choose Vertical. And then we're going to choose the resolution to 2160 by 3840. You can choose less resolution if that's better for your computer, but I personally like this because it looks the most crisp. And uh, then we're going to choose color space standard rec 709. And I'm going to hit OK. So the first plugin that I want to use is going to be to get a nice background. And I am personally using one that is called M Backdrop that is available to buy on motionvfx.com. It is highly worth it because it's such a versatile plugin and you don't have to use it for one specific thing because you can use this for a bunch of different things. I highly recommend this because it's super easy to use and there's not that much that requires from you to be able to get, get some cool looking backdrops. For example, I'm gonna choose M Backdrop 23 and then just drag it down to the timeline we're gonna zoom in a little bit here. And now, if we play this back, you can see that we have this nice high-tech vibe on the backdrop. And for me, I want to change the color so that it represents my brand a little bit more. So I'm gonna head over here to the inspector and then choose Colorize Remap White. So I'm gonna click this and I'm going to change this to orange because I uh, see little orange Peter mm, I like it and uh, the cool thing here is that you can change a bunch of different things with what you see in the image as well so for example you can go up and you can change the pattern scale which is basically the small dots that you can see and then you change the dot size so that they're bigger or smaller or just visible there we go. And uh, then you can turn on and off the HUD that is above. And the line opacity, you can drag that down if you want. Line width. There's a bunch of different things that you can increase in all of these backdrops so that you can personalize them to make them look the way that you want them to look. And the best part, in my opinion, with these backdrops is that they are constantly moving. So. If I want this to be able to play for 15 seconds, which is basically kind of a standard Instagram ad, then I just play back and then you can see that it fades in. And then once those 15 seconds has passed, it fades out again. And that makes it very, very valuable for engaging content that we see on Instagram stories. So now that we've created the background, we want to add in a little bit of a text to what our product is. And I am a huge fan of M Callouts High Tech. The cool thing with all of these callouts is that you can customize them the way that you want them to look. And you don't always have to use the tracking function of the callouts. I'm going to choose M Callouts High Tech 14, drag it onto the timeline, and then make sure that we have the same length as the backdrop. And uh, then we're going to go in and we are going to remove the All Systems OK text. Just going to mark this and hit Backspace. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to drag down the link line opacity. And then we're going to drag down link line opacity one. And we are also going to drag down the track frame opacity. So now if we play this back, you can see that it fades in without any lines, which is good because now we can adjust and place this wherever we want it to be without having a line that is showing up. 
but we're gonna head up to the title text and then we're gonna mark this and type in my super awesome product. There we go. And drag it down. We can change the text to maybe squares bold. This looks badass. Maybe increase the text style a little bit. You know what? I'm not a huge fan of the dots on the outside. So maybe we are going to remove those or the squares. So we're going to mark squares off. And now I'm kind of I'm kind of kind of liking it. There we go. And maybe cross off. This is cool. This I like. Definitely looks good. Track ring opacity. Got to drag down that as well. There we go. And the cool thing here is that we can also add in a little bit of extra text if we want to do that with yet another callout. So I'm going to mark this and I'm going to hold in Alt and then duplicate this above the layer. And then we are going to choose the dot and drag this text down. And we are going to go into the inspector panel and we are going to drag down the title frame opacity. And here we are going to write as uh, specification one, specifications two, and specifications three. You can write whatever you want, but <laughs> I couldn't come up with something. And uh, we're gonna make the text a little bit smaller so that it doesn't take the overhand of the actual product. And now that we have the title that introduces us to the product and we have a little bit of info about the product, we wanna add in the actual product as well. So for that, I'm going to use a plugin that is called M Logo Cinematic. And the cool thing here is that not only is this plugin great to be able to create your own logos for your YouTube channel or for your clients' YouTube videos or for your clients' videos for that matter, but you can also use it to add in different kind of images. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna choose M Logo Cinematic 13 and then I'm gonna drag it onto the timeline, make sure that it's up top, extend it all the way. And the first thing that I do is head over to an inspector and then turn off the background. There we go. And if you have a product mockup, say for example, like the one that I'm using for my vlog LUT, then you're just gonna drag that in and place it all the way under what you've already placed on your timeline. And we're also gonna hit V so that we hide the layer so that it's not visible. And then we're gonna choose M Logo Cinematic 13 again and go into the inspector and choose the drop zone, click the arrow, and then choose our image that we placed in the timeline. And then we're gonna hit apply clip. And then we're gonna scrub into the middle. And this actually looks pretty good. We're just gonna straighten this. So we're gonna go into the inspector again and adjust the logo rotation a little bit. There we go and we can move it ever so slightly down. And I think that that looks pretty good. And you know what? That is it. Now you have a really nice template where you can add in all the different products that you want to promote and then post that onto your Instagram story and increase your sales with a simple trick like this. And whatever you do, make sure that you do spend a little bit of time doing this because if you're anything like me and you have a lot of digital products but don't make them to look good yet, then that is crucial because it will increase your sales if your website and products and your promotion look cohesive and good. And here is the final result. Thanks so much for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And uh, oh, I will see you 
in the next video. Peter from Sweden, say goodbye.